1 Corinthians 15 he speaks of a mystery that we should not all sleep, but be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. This word change means to be changed into something else, something more. There have been many hymns written about going to heaven, the implication being there's another life to be lived in the spiritual. The problem is we often confine our thinking about our spiritual lives to what is coming as opposed to who we are right now as spiritual beings in these earth suits. When you wake up in the morning, do you immediately think about things spiritual or do you think about that first cup of coffee? Our bodily desires can be perpetually needy like an infant who hasn't yet learned to do anything for him or herself. We not only spend a great deal of time tending to our physical needs, but any time left over is swallowed up by the physical needs of those around us. This leaves little time for the spirit man to be nourished. It doesn't help that we've developed all kinds of expectations that are self-imposed regarding what's really necessary in this life. When these so-called demands are not met, you often feel a sense of failure. Do you feel a sense of failure when it comes to your spirit man, friend? You know, many years ago I had a dream, and the Lord showed me a pitiful wisp of a man who was in a dungeon with nothing but moonlight shining. His cheeks were sunken in, and he was obviously malnourished. It took me a few minutes of pondering before I realized that God was showing me what my spirit man looked like, close to death. I encourage you to commit to feeding your spirit on a daily basis to become all God has for you to be.